looking at this earthquake, what about this earthquake prompted that tsunami threat uh, to be so wide and extensive? So um, just to, to go back a little bit and talk about how tsunamis form, uh, when we have faults that are under the water, not all of them create tsunamis. It depends on the way that the fault moves. And so if a fault moves upward, it displaces the seafloor vertically, and that displaces all of the water on top of it. That water then flows out in all directions as a tsunami. And so we know that this area, uh, Kamchatka off the coast of Russia, has the potential to produce tsunamis. And in fact, it has produced a devastating Pacific-wide tsunami in the past. Um, just a few kilometers, a couple dozen kilometers away from this earthquake, back in 1952, there was a magnitude nine. That produced a big tsunami that caused damage around the Pacific Basin. So when you see the location of the earthquake, you see the magnitude of the earthquake, and then you know that it's shallow, and you know it's the kind of fault that moves the ocean floor up, you know that there could be a tsunami, and a tsunami big enough to, to potentially cause damage in faraway places like Alaska, Hawaii, and the, the uh, west coast of North America.